Okay, take two on the video. I actually forgot to mention an important piece of this. So we've got a 17 um, CR two stage condenser going outside, um, and then we're just swapping the coil down here. This is uh, an American Standard unit C width. We'll have a C width coil that'll match up on all that. Um, the return drop over there is kind of an odd size. It's a 14 by 18, and we're going to be putting in that April Air 1210 box right here. So we'll need to come back in uh, with like a 10 by 24, 10 by 25. Um, there is currently a uh, fairly new 600M on this thing. I'm thinking, I don't know if it's if it's easiest just to do another 14 inch wide, you know, so that it sits on here nice, just like it's doing. Or if that makes really any difference at all. I mean, if we do a 10 by 25, we got to kind of mount it on the back. So I'll see what Kyle has to say. We could just prefab a, like a 14 by 25 and you could just do this exact same setup. The water line is a good shut off right back there. Drains in front of the unit. Um, the line sets on this. So we're, we're moving the outdoor condenser from the side of the house here. This is the neighbor's driveway that runs through here. We're gonna take the condenser and set it in the back of the house, which this is not an exterior wall anymore. They put a garage out there. So you can't, you can't drill right through this to get to the back of the house. We'll have to run the new line sets, you know, 10 feet to the corner and then basically 10 feet to that section right there. But they've got uh, eight, eight cats in the house. So hopefully, hopefully they send somebody who isn't allergic.